Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from TechRacker.info and today we have some footage and as you can see it is World of Warships and I'm just trying to look around here at what we have. Um, this is a Congo um, yeah I don't know a lot about World of Warships just yet. Um, well, the scout has been sent away. The frame rate in this video, you can see the top left corner, severely fluctuates. So I didn't record this. I'm still not in the beta. Um, so yeah, um, if you see a bit of lag in the video, it's not my fault. Don't blame me. <laughs> no, I don't know what it is. It's like one moment the frame rate will be in the 70s, then it will be in the 17s. Um, it is insanely all over the place. It goes from 30 to 9 to 37, 6, 30, 12, it's 70. It's so insanely all over the place. So I don't know. Ooh, crap. That's a bit close. Careful there, buddy. Ah, we're getting pushed here. Hmm. I wonder, though. Do we have, like, a ship horn kind of thing? And if I'm not mistaken, the Congo is a pretty fast thing, I think. But don't quote me on that, I might be completely wrong. Congo is the, if I'm not mistaken, Japanese tier th 3 or is it a tier 5? It's a V Congo. Might be a tier 5 then. And don't ask me the classification because I have no idea. <laughs> I would think it's a destroyer, but I'm not entirely sure. And I haven't really watched this footage, I've gone through it like quickly a bit, but that's about it, so. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not sure when what is going to happen, so I might skip forward here a little bit just to uh, speed this up just a tad. But when you're playing World of Warships, don't be in a hurry, because, yeah, not going to work. Well, we do spot our first uh, enemy there. Now, I'm not quite sure how you can tell, like, what the distance is that you can fire. We just fired our entire battery of guns there. Seems to have four dual guns. The shells going in. Ah, oh, just barely missing him. Some more shells going in. Ah, oh, just barely overshooting him. He's returning fire. Is it towards us, though? Yes, those shells are coming towards us. Frame rate being a bit of an issue here. Pretty sure, yeah, we dodged all of them. Oh, yeah, we did. Um, you do get a lead indicator by the looks of it. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Yeah, this is an awesome feature. You can actually follow your shells. And the ship is vanished? What the hell? Oh, come on, he's just gone. We're hitting him. Nope, that one missed. Oh, it's because there's a mountain in between. Oh. Oh, this thing has anti-aircraft. Okay. Seems we have some anti-aircraft. I'm guessing those are AI controlled by the looks of it. Okay, our main battery is back up. Yeah, I really want to play this, but sadly I'm not in the closed beta. Pretty wish I was. There's our scout plane. Um... There is some interesting footage in this video, though, that I definitely want to show you guys. And, oh, got some torpedoes in the water. I guess those are ours. Um, I, I guess I missed that. Yeah, they're on... No, they're not ours. I'm not sure. I'm confused. No, we don't seem to have torpedoes, although... No, that's the ship. No, um, I guess they were not our torpedoes. Did we hit them? Did we hit them? Yes, we did three hits. Oh, he's not looking too clever now. His health is pretty much gone. Switching targets. Don't seem to have a target there. The other one was sunk, by the way, so we're done with him. So, in the meantime, we haven't taken a shot to the face yet, which is good. And we landed four shots so far. So, definitely when you're playing this game, you're gonna have to be patient. No, full battery fired. Let's see if we actually hit something. Ah, it looks like they're overshooting. I'm gonna say they're. Well. They look like they're overshoot, but it's so difficult to see from this kind of distance. Oh, raining down on them. We did get a hit. Looked like a pretty decent one. Did about 9,000 damage there. Or maybe over 9,000. <laughs> Anyways, 
Next target up, waiting for 4 more seconds for our shells to reload. Got a nice broadside here on the enemy Congo ship. And he is firing at us as well. I think shells meeting halfway. His shells are flying behind us, they're missing. He's reversing out of our shells. Do get one hit in. Let's see. The frame rate seems to have stabilized a bit more, but still it's so jumpy. So I don't know if that's just optimizing that they still need to do here or something. Oh, shells coming in. Oh, just barely missing us. Yikes. That was way too close for comfort. Another ship over there. Um, okay, so the yellow marker is like the lead indicator, I guess? And then if it turns green is good? Something like that? I'm not entirely sure how that works. Yeah, I think so. So the lead indicator is sort of not a fixed point, it's just when you move your cursor to the right area it will be indicating that you're right. Which is a bit weird getting some sort of lead indicator because you don't get that in World of Tanks, so why did I give it here? I guess the distances are a lot bigger here, so it's a lot more difficult. Shells coming in. Probably want to do some evasive maneuvers. They're coming really close. Ooh. That was too close for comfort. That was really damn close. He got a cloud off to our left there. Smoke drill. I don't have a line on him. Oh, target front. He has shot. Crap. Oh, and all of them fall short. Phew. And he's firing again. Returning fire, all batteries. Are we going to hit him? They look like they're going in the right direction. We got one hit out of it. They were a little bit behind, and we get shot in return as well. We take some moderate damage, which is in the end. Using our repair kit. Oh, take some light damage to the side there. Oh crap, we're getting shot at crap from all sides now. This ship is almost gone, we need to finish him off, but we're still reloading. Reloading, I'm not uh, AP shells now, okay. I'm not sure if AP or HE, it seems like HE would be better in almost all cases. Unless you have a very armored ship you're shooting at, I wanted to say tank there. <laughs> oh, man, that thing has an insane rate of fire by the way. That is pretty crazy. The enemy team has taken the lead. Crap, and we're falling behind. We're taking massive shots here. Not taking a lot of damage from that thing. That's a good thing. And we shoot down one of their scouts. Torpedoes in the water, turning into him. Oh crap, oh crap, can we go? Oh, nope, we can't go between them. We take some damage, wasn't too bad. We need to finish this thing off. Come on, those need to hit. There we go, finally finish him off. Holy crap, this is actually packed. Shit, getting shot from the left as well. Target front two. We got still got that scout plane in the air there. Or whatever plane it is. Some sort of plane. Oh crap. Um, we hit him once, not doing a lot of damage. Taking some light damage from the uh, rear there. I'm gonna take out this scout plane that's around us. We could really use some team help here. But it seems we are in enemy territory. We're behind enemy lines here right now. Oh, we got critical damage done on the uh, enemy... I have no idea what it is. Ship. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I can't really recognize ships from a distance. Or from close-up, for that matter. Put some shots in. Ah, uh, When we do hit two, they look like they were a bit behind, but... We do hit them. We're getting pretty close here, so leading the target is going to be less and less. We did critical hit him. So that's good. Hopefully we can light him on fire. That would be fantastic. But put another shot into him. Doing some good damage there. We are on a ramming course by the looks of it. We need to do something here or we are going to ram him. Getting shot from every direction. And I think he's given up here and he's going for the ram. Yeah. That worked. Um, yeah, that um, sort of worked. <laughs> kind of cost us our ship, but eh. let's take a look. I think there's some more footage here. And here we are with the next battle in a completely different ship. We now have a wake take. Wake take? Wake take. Ooh, this thing seems pretty fast. 
Straight off the bat, this thing seems fast and maneuverable. Holy crap. I'm not quite sure. I guess this is a destroyer then. And... I'm not sure. I'm not really all that great with um, ship terms, as it were, like destroyer, cruiser, and all that. Um, I'm not entirely sure what icon means what. I think this is a destroyer, and the last one I think was a cruiser, but I'm not entirely sure. Both of these are, by the way, Japanese. I think I failed to mention that. The previous one was Japanese as well. Friendly, just shooting at absolutely nothing. Oh, you can actually take over, like, one of the guns? If I'm seeing this correctly? Huh. Yeah, this thing is fast. Yeah, there seem to be torpedo launchers by the looks of it. Seeing as you have a spread. So, yeah, this thing has torpedoes. Okay. Oh, a top-down view? Autopilot mode enabled. Oh. Funky. Autopilot. Huh. Okay, you can set up waypoints. Cool, you can actually plot a course. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. And you can just focus on actually just shooting rather than the steering of it. And I guess if you steer, you disengage it. Okay, it's good to know. It's a bit foggy out there. I'm guessing if you go to the top-down kind of view like that. Um, whoa, don't topple it over. Holy shit. <laughs> For a second there, it looked like it was going to capsize. Um, when you go to that sort of high view, when you sort of look down on the battle view, not the top-down view, but, you know, the elevated view, I think the height of your cursor, if it doesn't go any higher, that's like the limit of your range, I think. Because it always looks down at a certain angle, you see how we can't really aim at the ship or the island there? Yeah, I think that's how you can tell what your range is. But yeah, this thing is pretty fast, doing uh, 35 knots by the looks of it. Nautical knots, or whatever, I don't know. I'm really bad with nautical terms, so don't judge me. For that, you need to probably be uh, on Jingles' channel. <laughs> oh, nice hit in. Not doing a lot of damage. It was an HE shell, though. We're targeting our torpedoes here. I'm not quite sure how you target... Um, how to determine your um, lead that you need to give the target. I'm not entirely sure about that. Guessing you have to line those up somewhat. Oh, we're following a torpedo. Sweet. Oh, is the ship going to get destroyed before torpedoes even get there? That would suck. <laughs> no, torpedoes in the water. Oh, on course. Oh, this thing is doomed. He will never survive. <laughs> Full torpedo spread in this side. Yeah, you're not gonna survive that. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Um, even if he was full health, that would have been devastating. Taking the full torpedo spread into the side. That hurts. So, let's talk a little bit how, uh, about tactics. Um, what do you need to do when you see a torpedo spread heading, heading your way? Well, the only thing you can do is either A, you... There's three things you can do, really. You break. Um, whoa, okay, that was a lag spike. It's like, what is going on? Why is he stopping? Just dead stop. That was a lag, I think. Lag spike. Um, you got three things. Either you throttle up and you get out of their way. You break and you get out of their way. Because they have a fixed pattern, you know. They're only going straight. They're not turning. So you either go past them, you go in front of them, as in stopping, or you turn into them. And what do I mean by turning into them? Well, if you have four torpedoes coming your way, and they're all, let's say, I don't know, 10 meters apart from each other, right? They're spread out. You turn your ship to be in the space between the two um, torpedoes heading your way. So instead of trying to avoid them altogether, you just, ooh, nice hit, and we set them on fire. Very nice long range hit there. Firing another shot into them. Is it gonna hit? Yes, it is. Nice shooting there. Not doing a lot of damage, though, and it's only a single cannon, but it does reload pretty quick. And is it gonna hit? Oh, just barely misses there. Three, th th three seconds to our next shot. Gonna have... No, we're not gonna have a 
shot there. Oh, but we do have him, who seems to be pretty still in the water. No, he is reversing now. I think that's reversing. It's hard to tell in the mist. That seems to be on... Ah, oh, just barely went over. Yeah, what we need to do is get closer. But yeah, going in between the torpedoes is pretty much your last chance. And if all of that fails, the only thing you can do is minimize the amount of shots that can actually hit you. So get hit by as least amount of torpedoes as you can. There. Our anti-aircraft batteries are opening up on some aircraft that's flying around us. Firing another shot. We're loading up torpedoes. Um, okay, those green zones are where you can shoot your torpedoes from. They can only shoot from the side. Taking a shot there. Not much damage. Wasn't too bad. So yeah, you need to be broadside to him in order to fire torpedoes. One in the water. Oh, and we get destroyed. Darn it. We got wrecked there. Oh, torpedo's still going. Oh, where's the camera going? Where's the camera going? Eh. Not where I wanted to. I wanted to see if our torpedo still hit. That's gonna be some... Oh, yes, it did! <laughs> oh, we actually managed to kill one. Nice. Oh, by the way, I completely failed to mention this. This is Mizu who sent in the um, footage here. So thank you, Mizu, for this footage. Thank you very much. Um... So yeah, I sorry I completely failed to mention that. I just realized that you can't even see your name anywhere. Um, but yeah, you managed to kill a ship after you died. That's fantastic. One thing that does bum me out though is these carriers. I had a brief look at the video and take a look at how they launch when they do. They basically get teleported from the back to the front of the ship and then they just take off instantly rather than actually using the runway. Which is a bit of a letdown to be honest. I'm just looking, how does anything get moved over to the flight deck? All I can see is like ladders on the sides. There we go. See how the ships are getting teleported from the back to the front and just instantly taking off? I think that's just mm, a bit of a shame. I mean, so I'm wondering, it seems like you might actually be able to somewhat control these planes as well, which definitely seems very interesting. Launching our next squadron. We do have a top-down view as well. I'm guessing, sort of, that your uh, carriers are kind of like your artillery of sorts. You're long-range, sitting in the back, um, pretty defenseless as it come when it comes to, you know, ships immediately attacking this thing. You're nothing without your planes. Um, like an artillery, you know, you you send them away and it does massive damage when it gets there, but. Other than that, you have no defense, and I think the carrier is pretty much the same. So, with the carrier, you want to stay in the back. Um, you need the support of all your other um, teammates, I guess, and all the other ship types to basically defend you and make sure that people don't get um, into the area where the flagship... or not the flagships, <laughs> it's not a flagship, where the carriers are. So it's pretty much World of Tank tactics. You're light ships, as it were, um, your scout ships, are possibly just gonna break through lines and actually go after the carriers, because a carrier without its planes is nothing. All its damage comes from the planes. So, whoa, getting shot to crap here. This is kind of funky. Um, you actually get to see the battlefield. And a lot of shit going on here. Planes dying and flying everywhere. I'm not sure if we're... I guess we're protecting allies here? Is that what we're doing? Like I said, I'm not familiar with this game at all. All I've seen is footage. I haven't played a single second of this game. I really want to, but a lot of fog over there. Ooh, those just got annihilated. I'm trying to figure out what. Okay, there's three numbers at the bottom. I guess are the three squadrons we can send out. By the looks of it, we can engage ships. I guess these are torpedo bombers, like torpedo ships. Oh yeah, torpedoes in the water. Mm, oh well. And let's see, he's doing exactly what I was telling you earlier. Go in between the torpedoes if you can and not take any damage. So what you want to do is have your uh, planes here come in from the side and do a nice sideways spread. If you do it head on like that, they're all just going to miss like that. 
So you want to fly in from the side and not give him opportunity to go in between. Because everybody's gonna try to go in between because you don't want to get shot by torpedoes because they hurt like hell. Um, so you really gotta try to get that side vector on uh, ships so you can actually get a full torpedo spread on them without giving them the opportunity to dodge it. But I like this. Um, Carry seems like a lot of fun to control multiple attack waves from multiple sides. But you can you imagine attacking one ship from three different flanks with three squadrons, full torpedo spreads from all sides? Oh, this looks like a good one. This is exactly what I was ta ta talking about. He's trying to turn into him to minimize the amount of torpedoes that can hit him. Can he fit through the gap? Oh, nope, nope, nope. They're gonna hit his ass. There we go. Two, three. Nice. Can we get a four? Nope. I want to be careful with that attack vector. Really want to get him broadside on to do the maximum amount of damage. But we did get a good couple of hits in. Now I'm guessing if a squadron gets shot down, that they sort of regen, as in reload, that you can send out another squadron. But I'm not entirely sure. It might very well be that if they're all dead, that they're gone. But that could mean that a carrier would be, um, how do I put it, like really. Um, volatile, I guess, sort of. Like one game you'll absolutely devastate everything and not lose a single airplane, and the next you'll lose them in the first two minutes and you can't do anything anymore. So I'm really wondering if that is the case. It only seems like he does have one squadron on here. And no new squadrons. I don't know, I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments down below. How does it work? Do you get like infinite squadrons or is the three squadrons all you get and if they get shot down you are, you know, screwed. That's it. Let me know. I'm kind of curious. So far I'm kind of liking the uh, aircraft carrier. But then again, I've always been a fan of being able to multitask and attack things and do multiple things. And for some people it's really difficult to do that. Um, in MMO RPG kind of setting when you have for instance a pet where you control a pet so you control yourself and possibly something else while you're CCing card controlling something else you know you're sleeping somebody you're fighting an next person and your pet is fighting a third person I love doing that and if you can maximize that you can do so much more than any single person can because a single person can only focus on one thing so the multitasking is really fun if you can get a hang of it. And it seems like that's kind of what this carrier is about. And we seem oh, he seems to be setting up for a sideways broadside attack here. Going past the ship before we attack. Setting up the attack pattern here. Going in. And I'm not sure what we're doing there. I think we're launching torpedoes. I think that's all these things have. I do wonder though, Japanese carrier, I mean this is the Langley, so I'm pretty sure this is American, but Japanese carriers, do they get kamikaze pilots, or how does that work? Are there even Japanese carriers? I have no idea. Hmm. Anybody knows? Again, let me know in the comments. I'm trying to uh, cut him off here, this is a tricky attack vector here. He could just steer left, um, excuse me, right and steer out of it if he's smart, if he notices. It is a nice, you know, rear attack, so he might not see it coming. We do control two out of three cap points right now, that's good. Moving over to the next squadron. Back here seems pretty wide open right now. The squadron seems to be pretty damaged don't have anything on our deck so I think those three squadrons are it that's all you get I think and I think the autopilot would actually be really handy on the aircraft carrier that way you don't have to focus at all on where you're going but at least you can stay mobile and not get shot down or shot down well shot as easily as you know sitting still so the autopilot setting up to go like a circle around that island in front here, that would not be a bad idea. I think. I mean, I'm not an expert, but... Um, yeah, 
Okay, so, I'm not sure what we're waiting for right now. We do have all three camp zones. If you look at the top of the screen, you see A, B, C, and they're all green, turquoise, bluish. That means we all got them. Oh, B is currently being capped by the enemy team. It's taken down. Um, not sure if they have to capture the entire thing. But every time you own one of those cap circles, you get points. You see that little 8 popping up from time to time? That means you get 8 more points, and that's how the point system works. First to 1,000 points wins. Or the first to destroy all the enemies. Oh, we... Did we get a new... Group here, or did they just land? No, I think it's a new group. By the looks of it. Okay, so they do respawn, it just takes a long time. Or maybe it's... Hmm, I don't know. Let me know. Um, I'm really interested in how this works. Is it if you land any aircraft from a squadron that you regain the entire squadron after it counts down? Is that how it works? Where did the ship go? Oh, there we go. <laughs> like, does it regen the entire squadron over time? Okay, they've all landed. Like, is that how it works? Like, do they re-ammo and re... Um, how do I put it? Re, re, rebuild all the ships, as it were, I guess. Um, yeah, pretty curious. Shots coming into the ship. Nope. Oh, there's one laying down fog there. Does seem to be a bit of a latency issue with updating the uh, location of that ship. I don't know if it's the uh, clouds that are causing the uh, problems, but got some more targets over here. There's a lot to choose from. Okay, finally set a target. We're at 900 points here. This is going to be a win. The enemy team is only at 400, almost. We're at 900. This is going to be over in a, pff, not even a minute. This is going to be over very soon. So that was a bit of the carrier play, and thank you, Mizu, for sending in this replay. Um or video I guess um, yeah I do enjoy showing you guys this I'm just sad I didn't get into the closed beta so I can't actually show you any of my footage but from time to time um, I have my sources to get some footage and they're not above rubbing it in that they're in the beta and I'm not thanks guys <laughs> you know who you are <laughs> um, but yeah thank you Mizu for sending us in I did enjoy watching it so thank you guys for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one